Oh my god, I couldn't get a signal. Um, I Hello. have to go meet him. Oh, I'm sorry. Did sorry, I have to. Phone call. Yeah, I have to go meet my my friend real quick. Oh, you gotta meet. Will, somebody. you wanna do this real quick? Uh, yeah, uh, we'll do it next. Never mind. Oh. Never mind. Uh, um, where at? What you wanna do? We're out, we're at Elk Street. All right. Um, yeah, let's go. Was it longer than huh? Uh, yeah. And I'll be trying to get better and trying to turn my life around because, I mean, obviously this isn't isn't the, the way to go. This isn't where you want to be, and nobody wants to see you like this. Are you religious at all? Yeah. And what do you believe? Baptist. I'm, uh, Baptist. I believe Baptist. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hello, sir. What's going on? It's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're speaking with ATM Fox. Welcome to the channel. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. May I have your name? My name is Winston. Say that one more time. Winston. Winston. All right. Nice to meet you, Winston. Nice to meet you, too. Where are you from? From Media, Pennsylvania. How old are you? 38. All right. What brought you out here to Kensington, Philadelphia? Um... I started coming down grabbing uh, methamphetamines, and then uh, slowly but surely, I just kept staying down here. I guess it's easier to get my drugs if I stay down here. How long have you been addicted to methamphetamines? For? About 10 months. Only 10 months? Yeah. So you haven't been out here long? No. What was your life like before you started you know, uh, messing with the meth methamphetamines? I mean, um, I was working. I was a worker. I'm a cook. I was working at Pinocchio's in Media, Pennsylvania. It's like a cheesesteak uh, family restaurant, pizza restaurant. All right. He's getting money, man. Yeah. Yeah. And what's life like now? Life like is uh, waking up every day, you know, scheming, boosting, and, um, yeah, buying drugs. You got you got a boost? Yeah, I boost, yeah. I boost Legos. Uh like makeup and um vitamins and pills and, and medical med and medicine pills. Is is it easy doing that stuff or you can say it's easy, but I mean you putting your you risking your life every day. You go to jail at any at any moment. So it is easy in a way and it isn't. And you just started doing these things. You feel like your addiction made you yeah. start doing these crimes. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. have never do this. No, nah, not normally, no. Nah. Is, is the drugs affecting your thinking or something? Because that's not you, right? It's not I, mean, I wouldn't say it's affecting my thinking, but it's definitely uh, persuading me to, uh, to do negative things a little bit more than usual. Because I need to, you know, when I can't make any money the legal way, I got to make it somehow, so. All right. And uh, what brought you out here to Kensington? I know you say you followed the drug, but like, why, what made you choose here? Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's cheap and you can do your drugs down here. It's like literally like perfect place to get high and buy drugs. Have you ever been involved in any scuffles out here? Any fights, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort? yeah. Three and no. Three no out here. You had to defend yourself. Too yeah. many, you said. People keep stealing, man. Can't catch people stealing, and then you gotta get your stuff back, and then they don't want to give it up. Start sending the play. How often are you getting robbed? What you say? Oh, every day, every single day. You fall asleep. You you leave your uh, your little encampment or something, and somebody's taking something every single day. You miss your old lifestyle. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a, uh, a lifestyle that I was accustomed to. You know, I was around a lot of family. All my family's from media. You miss them, huh? Yeah. You miss your loved ones. Do they know you're out here? Yeah, they know I'm out here. They can't do nothing because, I, I mean, they can't tell me what to do. So, 
And you say you only been on drugs for how long? I mean, off and on, I've been doing drugs for the last 20 years. 20 years, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, like, down here, in this, in this, in this, uh, this, this time, it's 10 months. If you can make three wishes right now, what would they be? Well, one, I wish I, I see my family a lot more. I wish it wasn't uh, so much division in, in our family. Uh, two, I wish I didn't lose my job through injury. I wish I could still have my job. And three, I wish the, my health wasn't as bad as it is. You say your health? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the trank. The tranquilizer in the, uh, I guess you could say, the, in the dope, it uh, it comes out your body in different ways. Like it'll come out as a pimple, body pimple, and then it'll be a hole. It'll be a hole in your body, and it gets bigger and bigger. You got a trach wound? Yeah. Where at? On my hip. On your hip? Yeah. How how did you uh, get it? Is it like it how a, were you using the drug? It was a tiny pimple. And then, you know, I was, the way I sleep, I sleep on my, on my side. And then it started becoming real tender and sore. And then it just starts swelling up. And I guess this, that's the trank, you know. However much trank I do, it comes out in that amount. And it was coming out. It was a big, big pimple. It started out very tiny, and then it got really big. And when it popped, it just turns into a hole. When it popped, it turned into a hole? Yeah, because the trank uh, eats your white blood cells and doesn't allow you to heal. Mm. Did you go get it checked out at all? Yeah, I go to wound care yeah, like a couple times a week. I'm happy you went and got it checked out, bro. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't crazy. I ain't going to let that take me down. Can't let that take me down. Your health is the number one thing that you have. You got any kids? No, nah, I don't have any children. It's good. You want to have a family someday? I do. See yourself having a family? You do, you said? I do, yeah, I do. Soon, hopefully sooner than later. Because I'm getting at the age I'm about to be 40. No kids. Where do you see yourself in the next six months? Hopefully in a rehab. Hopefully in the next six months I'll be in a rehab and I'll be trying to get better and trying to turn my life around because, I mean, obviously this isn't isn't the, the way to go. This isn't where you want to be and nobody wants to see you like this. Are you religious at all? Yeah. And what do you believe? Baptist. I'm, uh, Baptist. I believe Baptist. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Amen. How would you feel if your family was to see this video? Um, I'm pretty sure that I would feel the same way they feel. They hurt. You know, they don't want to see me like this, and I don't want them to see me like this. But I mean, the facts are the facts. The truth is the truth. And it is what it is. I'd like to thank you for your time, Weston. Weston, you've been a wonderful interviewee for me. God bless you, my brother. You stay God bless up. You.